Hey YouTube, 5 7 guy coming back to you with another review. Today we're going to be reviewing the Beretta Now. Okay, so what, what, what do we know about Beretta? Well, they make the PX4 Storm, they make the 92. Awesome guns, right? I'm here to tell you that I'm trying to be as objective on these reviews as possible. If you think I'm not, let me know. You know, I, I'm human just like the rest of us. Now, let's go over this gun real quick. Um, first of all, it is a pocket gun. It's a single, uh, single stack, nine millimeter. Um, it's cool in the fact that it has no external features as far as you know. There's no um, controls or anything like that. Although I do wish it had a slide stop because the only way to lock the slide to the rear is by inserting an empty magazine, and then you can pull it out and do whatever you want to do with it. There's another thing that I think is kind of funny in the fact that this is a double action only handgun and it has a trigger safety. I think that's funny. But that's me. Anyhow. Uh, some other cool things about this gun. It does have some nice diagonal cuts on the slide which I do believe are really nice. I, I like them a lot. Um, it, if you look at it you can see that it's it's a pretty cool cut. Um, it is a nice handgun. It does fit in the hand very well. And I do have the mag extensions. So it does fit really well in the hand, especially for my hand, because my hand's kind of small. It does, it is very, a pretty small pistol in relation to, say, uh, you know, my, my Kershaw here. So, all in all, this, this is a nice size gun. Now, I've had one problem with this gun that has made me not want to carry this gun at all ever even if somebody said hey here's a brand new gold one I'd say <laughs> you can keep it and if I can get it to recreate it which I had it happen there it's already had it happen okay so if, if, if whoever's watching this video which I'm sure most of my uh, subscribers know how an automatic pistol works but if you don't an automatic pistol works by as the slide moves to the rear, as you charge the gun, or as you're shooting the gun, the slide moves to the rear. The next round in sequence pops up, so, pops up, and if I were to load the round, so, next round pops up, the slide comes forward, slide comes forward, grabs the round, puts it into the chamber. This gun, has this extractor here which doubles as a loaded chamber indicator so the round slides it's kinda of like a hook so the round would slide into the hook so the rim of the round would slide into the hook like this as as the back of the slide would push the round into battery so kinda of like this with the rack push it into battery now if you look real close you see the firing pin protruding out. Now, I don't know if that's supposed to be that way or not. Uh, I haven't done any research because it kind of it kind of pissed me off the first time it happened that I realized what was happening and it, I didn't think it was a magazine or cartridge failures or even the gun just being dirty, which I thought was pretty interesting considering I just got it. Um, so, this gun uh, had a malfunction and it was because the round as it came up to go into the channel where the extractor grabs it would hit that firing pin kinda like kinda like that and at first I thought well maybe I have a dirty chamber so I slapped the back of the slide nothing happened. I thought, man, okay, well, maybe it's, you know, maybe I need to slap it a little bit more. Slapped it a little bit harder, still nothing. I had, I said to myself, okay, let's stop and assess the situation. Took the gun, looked in. As I looked into the chamber, I noticed that the round was hitting the silver thing. And I said, man, that looks like the firing pin. Sure enough, it's the firing pin. I've had this happen multiple times with different types of ammo, with different different magazines same thing now I can only see this as um, a catastrophic failure 
Now, you may say, well, the gun didn't blow up, pieces didn't fall off the gun, you know, the round just stopped. Well, when I, when I train with guns like these, or I go to the range and shoot with guns like these, I train like, like you know, like I have to draw it. That's the whole reason why I have the gun. It's a, it's a defensive carry gun. I don't carry it just, just to look cool. It's, it's for, for defense of myself and my family. And if my gun does not work, then why would I carry it? Um, I don't know necessarily if that's a defect in the design or whether it broke on me. I, I really don't know. I haven't done any research on it, but I do know this. This happened to me, and I'd like to know if it happened to other people. Um, I probably should research it. Uh, like I said, I haven't researched it yet. Uh, and one of those reasons is because I was so ticked off about it that I just decided just to put the gun away for a while. Um, and now I'm here <laughs> doing this review on it. Now, let me know in the comments below if you've seen this happen before. I'd like to hear from the viewers. And if you're a first-time viewer, um, please subscribe because, man, I'm trying to do all these cool videos and trying to bring you guys stuff. And it'd be really nice to, to see some more support. Now, for, for my subscribers, thanks for the support. Man, you guys have been awesome. Um, if you want to see me do any more guns, let me know. Um, if you want to see me review any guns that I've done in the past, uh, so I did this video called EDC Carry where, you know, I, I basically was like, here, look at my collection. <laughs> but if you want to uh, see me review one of those guns or see some shooting footage of those guns, let me know and I'll be happy to do that. Any excuse to go to the range is a good day. Anyways, like I said, like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys later. Have a good day.